I'd like to show you this quilt with the moose and and deer and bear. I love these animals. And then of course the blog cabin to tie it all in and I think you'll have a lot of fun with this. Okay, make all your dimensional pieces by placing a copy of your pattern on top of two pieces of fabric right side together, thin polyester bonded bat, and then sew on the solder line cut on the outside dash line. And then that will give you openings in certain areas. Um, sometimes it's sewn all the way around and then you'll just slip one layer of fabric and stuff it. Here's a little trick for turning a piece that has a small opening. This is the beard on the moose. So I'm going to open it up. I'm going to put a straw, and this is a restaurant straw that's a little bit heavier. I'm going to put it all the way to the end. And then I've got a dowel that fits inside that straw, and I'm just going to go in the end, push it through. At this point, the straw is not needed, but I can just push that right through. That's how I can turn a lot of these small pieces, the ears and different things that, that just are harder to turn. Now for the deers, we've paper pieced up to a certain point and it will be in the directions and then when we put our dimensional pieces in we're going to turn it over machine based where the piece goes into the seam that transfers the location here and we're going to put our open edges along you know quarter of an inch past that basting so that all the raw edges will be caught in that seam then we'll cut a piece of background fabric here for eight place it right side down along that edge turn it over and sew that whole line when it and trim the extra out of the seam and then when it folds back those raw edges are caught in this seam like this okay this is the deer with the head up and we cut on the outside and then the uh, body will stuff the body a little bit and place the body along here then the head that for the deer the, whose head is coming up is a separate piece and we've foundation pieced up to a certain point, machine based where the head goes into the seam and then place the head along there with with the ear okay and then we'll take a piece of background fabric like this place it right side down along that basted edge so the whole thing that will flip back, back like that cover the edges then we'll cut it out on this outside dash line and those two pieces will be sewn together where this little deer with the head down is paper pieced all the way up here to tan machine based where the head goes in the seam and then place the head a quarter of an inch past that basting then take background fabric for number 11 place it right side down turn it over sew the whole line trim the extra of the seam fold it back and then we're going to baste where the body goes in the seam we'll stuff that place his body here and then foundation piece background up here and this is a darling uh, little deer too now our little moose we've foundation pieced all the way up to eight. Oh, what well, we've basted and put his tummy in there and make sure when you put this piece in that you hold back his drumstick here and then you machine based where his antlers go in or his whatever they're called and place them this way quarter of an inch past that basting then we're going to take a piece of fabric right side down along that basted line turn it over sew that whole line all the way across it will fold back like that so the moose the ears were pinched together to make the ear well and then we just whip stitched on the back his head was a whole shape was sewn one layer was slit on the back and then turned right side out through that little extra stuffing added and then his beard uh, whip stitched on the back of that and then seed beads the antlers are flipped back and then he's just blind stitched on top the bear there's quite a bit of foundation piecing in the bear to make the little legs bend around and his four legs and the paws and that's one through 14 and then you turn it over and machine based right here with the little haunches of his back and that will transfer the location to the side then we've pre-made his belly so that will go a quarter of an inch above that uh, basting and also his snout. Now he looks a little strange till we put his head on that will go on top. Then we're gonna uh, also put his tail back here like that, quarter of an inch above that basting. Okay, and then we're gonna foundation piece uh, 15 and 16 which will enclose 
all the raw edges and this is where he really does look a little strange but this is him and then his uh, head was pre-made by sewing all the way around slitting one layer and stuffing him and then his ears and then you just place it on top of the bear with add your seed beads and then he turns out cute now it's finished the the bear looks great with his little face on there and the majestic moose um, I love these animals I love how the dimension I just think they they turn out just gorgeous and I think you'll have fun with this pattern